Hey, Mikey, you don't look at all well. Guys, I cannot call in sick to go snow golfing with you. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Snow golfing in Central Park. Yeah. An entire day of pointless, drunken golfing fun. <laughs> oh, that does sound great. All right, let me run it by Liz when she gets here. What? She's not the boss of you. <laughs> Actually, she is. She's my supervisor at work, and I cannot afford to get written up again. Stupid internet porn. <laughs> this is all uptight at the office. She won't even tell anyone we're dating. Well, maybe it's a little bit less about her being uptight and more about her being embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not the one with clip-on mittens. <laughs> They're a gift, OK? I don't want to lose them. Look, Mike, you got to come with us. I know, I know. To you, it's just another Monday. But to me and you, it, it's men day. <laughs> we start with a little snow golf, enjoy a nice dinner at one of Manhattan's finer nudie bars, <laughs> and then home for the piece of resistance. Girls going crazy at seven. <laughs> 90 minutes of young university women getting jiggly with it. Come on, Mike. What do you say? Say, I got a fever. And the only prescription for it is Mende! Yeah! 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 Oh, oh, and you gotta let me sleep here for a few nights. My place is infested with ants. Why don't you just spray them? I would, but my uncles get mad. <laughs> you know! <laughs> But seriously, I hate them. All right, all right, you can sleep on our couch. Kick ass. Ah, uh ah, -uh, that's nice. Oh, wait, 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 you're supposed to be sick. Um, uh, spray your head with uh, hot water. And, and stick your fingers down your throat and puke on the floor. <laughs> oh, wait, there's no time. I'll do it. Hey, take it easy. Listen, I've been faking sick since I was in third grade, all right? Watch and learn. Hey, Mike. Hey, guys. Ready to go? Oh, I don't know. I'm really not feeling so good. <coughs> You're fine. Let's go. OK. They say I got to be a man. I'm halfway there, halfway there. They say I'm having too much fun. But I don't care. I don't care. This is the time. It's going. And Liz, thanks to your good work, two more Gibbons have been freed from the circus and introduced back into the wild. <laughs> Woohoo! Go Gibbons. Well, does that wrap up a fine Monday or what? Monkeys are back in the jungle, and I'm out of here. Actually, uh, I do have one more piece of business to cover. Oh, jeez. We have finally received funding to begin our initiative to save the Chilean sea bass from overfishing. So I need a volunteer to spearhead this project. Now, whoever works on this should plan on getting to know a guy I like to call Mr. Overtime. <laughs> Great. Liz. Sweet. Good call. See you tomorrow. Uh, Carl, this is a big job. Uh, I'm going to need some help on this. Oh, sure, Liz. Pick whoever you want. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna randomly go with uh, Mike. Ah! We'll get started tonight. Sea bass. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, people, let's get started. And uh, remember, here at home, we help, help our mother. mother. Oh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Why are you, are you volunteering me for overtime? I, I barely want to work time. Mike, we're going to be working on this project for the next week. Now we can be together at the office. Isn't that what you say you always want? No, I, I, I want to be able to kiss you in the halls. I don't want to stuff envelopes for some stupid fish. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not a stupid fish. It's a delicious fish. What? 
Miss Girl's gone crazy seven. I was doing important work, saving the world from a yummy entree. Don't worry, Mike. We've saved you a highlight. Right, Chow, is it all queued up? In three, two, and cue the naked girls. Why is it whenever they lift up their shirts, they make the face? Oh, wait, wait, wait. hang on, hang on. Here comes a good part. Hey, who wants some beans? Who <laughs> really likes her beans? And freeze. <laughs> Anyone look familiar, Mike? Mm. Looks a lot like Liz. <clears throat> it's obviously not her, though. And Rope? What's your name, cutie? Liz! <laughs> and Fritz. Come on, guys. There, there are thousands of Liz's. Mine's from New Jersey. Why would you go all the way to Cancun? And Rope? Where are you from, Liz? Jersey! <laughs> okay, all right. So Liz went to Cancun and she obviously had a good time. Come on, guys, this is Liz. Son, <clears throat> it ain't called Girls Gone Bashful. <laughs> she is not gonna take off her top for beads. <laughs> and roll. If I take off my top, will you give me some beads? <laughs> Making the face. <laughs> what? I don't want to drag this out, but were you ever in Cancun? Because there's some girl named Liz from Jersey in Girls Gone Crazy 7 lifting her top for beads. Mike, this really hurts. I resent you thinking that I would participate in something that exploits women so egregiously. We got the DVD right here. All right, it's me. <laughs> Look, I was drunk. It was five years ago. I mean, we were all wilder at that age, right? Right. <laughs> I backpacked through Argentina, and my keep is a gaucho <laughs> and cage dancer. I'm still firmly entrenched in my wild past. Oh, this Saturday, I'm dating a little person. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, wild? Yeah, well, uh, hey, at school, hey, Ewan, you remember this one. Uh, I, I, I put on my pants backwards and I walked around like that for the whole entire day. <laughs> and then what happened? I went home. <laughs> Then I flashed my boobs for beads. Dude, there were no beads. She flashed her boobs for the pure love of the game. Chow, I want you to stop looking at my boobs, thinking about my boobs, and talking about my boobs. About two out of three. Deal. All right. Come on, let's let them have some privacy. Hey, I'll tell you all about Tiny Andrea. She makes me feel like a giant. All right, you know, you know what, you know what's really bothering me here? It's that you won't even hold hands at work, but five years ago you were getting all boobalicious in public. I guess I just got it out of my system, and maybe you didn't. I just, I've always been a very play it safe kind of guy, you know. Well, you know, it's not too late. You can still be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you bet I can. All right. Step back! Yeah. Crazy Mike! Yeah, Woo! yeah, yeah. No more Mr. Uh, play it safe, Mike. Yeah, we, 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 could, uh, we could do something wild right now, huh? We could, uh, could jump a subway turnstile, huh? Woo! Or, uh, hey, oh no, we'll just go run through the park! Yeah! You with me? Okay! Yeah! You're pretty wild. You bet your sweet cushy it is. <laughs> Oh, it's cold. I should get a hat. <laughs> Crook! 
key. Ciao, wake up! What's up, dude? Don't you sup dude me! What took place here? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Your trousers are around your ankles. I got hot. Oh, right. So you just decided to fan yourself with the lingerie catalogue. I always read before bed. And I left my new Teddy Roosevelt biography at home. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess you were so moved by the catalogue that you burst into tears. Hence the tissues wadded up behind the sofa. My allergies were acting up. It's like this pillow was stuffed with cat. What are you implying? Chow, look around you. This is clearly a picture of a man at his leisure. Ewan, I am insulted. Chow would never get down on his bro's sofa. It's not my style. All right, then, but tonight, no tissues, no catalog, right? Cool, cool. Uh, hey, uh, can I use your shower? I'm really horny. <laughs> oh, God, my tongue is so full of glue. You know, I bet if we kissed right now, we'd stick together. <laughs> Why don't we try and find out, huh? Mike, I was just kidding. Come on, no one's around. Let's do some stuff. Oh, Mike, someone could show up. It's midnight. No, we still have work to do. Hey, you know something? You're starting to sound like this guy I used to know. Mr. Play It Safe Mike. But listen, new crazy Mike wants to have crazy sex with his crazy girlfriend on this crazy biodegradable table. Listen, crazy Mike. Crazy Liz is dead. She pounded six hurricanes at a Mardi Gras one year and woke up on a shrimp boat in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> a changed woman. Crazy Liz. Hello, are you in there? I got something for you. On, on the desk, on, on the conference room table, on the conference room floor, because the table can get a little slippery. Oh. And finally, on the copy machine. Oh. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it is so freaking hot. I'm telling you, I was so stupid to play it safe, you know? Taking chances, it's what makes you feel alive. Mike, we're dead. There are security cameras all over that office. Everything we did is on tape. Oh, God. Even the copy machine. You told them? He brought visual aids. And it's pretty freaking hot. That's Mike's taint. Still hot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we get back to how we're dead? Carl called me at home, and he said he wants to see us first thing in the morning. Oh, thank God. We're, we're fired. Or invited to his winter house in Aspen. <laughs> I was so stupid to take chances. Playing it safe, it's the only way to live. Okay, Mike, settle down! <laughs> we're gonna go in and we're gonna apologize to Carl and, and convince him not to fire us. It's never gonna work. I can't get fired. I need this job. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy! <laughs> You might want to stop saying that, then. What's a taint? <laughs> Still hot. I want the truth, Chow. The truth. Were you or were you not shaking hands with the governor? I told you. I would never do that. Oh, really? So why the tube socks one on, one off? 
My allergies were acting up. You told me no tissue, so I used my sock. <laughs> huh? On the lotion? It's for my nose. Tube sock shafes. Hello soothes. <laughs> Gone Crazy 7 is paused on the TV screen. It's my homemade nightlight. <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark, all right? And my pants are pulled down because it got hot again, okay? I'm a chap nose, hot ass, scaredy cat with allergies, so sue me. Look, Chow, look, we all have urges. It's just that that is where I sit. You. I swear to you on my gargantuan collection of pornography. <laughs> and I have not touched myself on this sofa. You mean it? My word is my bond. <laughs> the word's good enough for me. Liz, Mike, I am disappointed. Um, you violated our office policy on dating you violated my trust, and what you did on the copy machine. A disturbing waste of toner. Carl, I am really, really sorry about the other night, and I really want to keep my job. I'm listening. When I was a little girl, there was this family of raccoons that used to visit our house. I loved those raccoons. I, I, I used to feed them, and I gave them names. Buttons, Loki, and Madam Driscoll. <laughs> but one day, they stopped coming. Later on, I learned that their forced home was cut down to make room for a Chi-Chi's. <laughs> At that moment, I knew what my life mission was. So, Carl, I, I'm not asking to keep my job from me. I'm, I'm asking to keep it for... Buttons and Loki and Madam Driscoll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liz, we can never let you go. Oh, we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, uh, do you have something to say? Yeah, I wish I'd gone first. <laughs> <laughs> go on, just tell the truth about your passion for the environment. Right, right. Um, Animals, huh? Well, uh, what are you gonna do? Huh? You know, we all like them. You know, when I was a kid, I went to the zoo, and I saw the monkeys, and they were throwing their poop around and everything. And I knew right then and there that that was the career for me. Uh, uh, that's an interesting story, Mike. Um, but I I'm not feeling the same kind of passion that I, I got from Liz. Oh, oh uh, let, me, let me work it up then. All right. Um, all right, now, Webster defines animal as a, um... All right, who am I kidding? You want to know why I took this job? Because it's close to my apartment, all right? I, I, I don't have any passion for this job. I never have. Mike? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Liz, but when I heard you telling that little chipmunk story there, it hit me. I want to feel the way you do about my job, and I am never, ever going to feel that working here. I, I didn't know you felt this way. Neither did I. But now I know I need to make a change. I need to stop playing everything safe, and I, I don't need to jump any more turnstiles. I need to find a job that I care about. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. If you want to follow your heart, I totally support that. And this might sound a little crazy, but, uh... I think having sex with you on Carl's desk was the smartest thing I ever did. <laughs> uh, um, rather not look at this twice in one day, so, uh, Liz, I guess you should get back to work. And, Mike, it's my pleasure to tell you that you're fired. Thanks, man. All right. Dude, 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 give me that, give me that tape. Relax, Mike. If I wanted to see Liz naked, I'd just rent Girls Gone Crazy. <laughs> Seven and eight. Eight? Dude, Mardi Gras.
fight for you.